Good day, family, and all praise to only the Almighty Most High Creator. Right now, this is making the rounds. Everybody is talking about this. A lot of Negroes are making video after video of this. And the thing with this is this isn't the first time that these have been on display. Here's a video from 12 years ago. Russian icons on display for first time in Rome. You can see that the people in the paintings are melanated. We'll go to this one. Rare Russian icons in display in Moscow. 15 years ago. As you can see, all of the people are melanated. Now, the thing that makes me think about this is this right here. Psalms 83, I'm going to read 1 to 5, and I read, O Almighty, who shall be compared to thee? Be not silent, neither be still, O Almighty. For behold, thine enemies have made a noise, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Against thy people they have crafted, craftedly imagined a device and have taken counsel against thy saints. They have said, Come and let us utterly destroy them out of the nation, and let the name of Yasharel be remembered no more at all. The jab. For they have taken counsel together with one consent. They have made a confederacy against thee. So be it. So all of the kings of all of these nations, including Africa, they know who we are and who the true seed of Jacob is. But no one has opened their mouth until this. Why? Is it because he knows that something could possibly happen on April 8th? And one more time, April 8th is the eclipse. It is the day after the Passover. So if, if the Almighty is going to come back, it is going to be on the 8th. So is that why this is going around right now? To wake people up? From here, I was going to talk about suicides, drug overdoses, and homelessness. And I've already gone over these things in my older videos and now we're here so I've already put the warning out years ago and it made me realize something if the Almighty comes back on April 8th and rescues us then all praise to him if he doesn't come back to rescue us then all praise to him because we get to sit back and watch the utter destruction of the European nations. Right now, a good portion of the European nations are really bad off. Their people are in dire straits. There's riots all over the world because of the people in charge turning everybody into slaves because of their greed. The nations, especially America, America's dollar is nothing. Okay? America is a walking dead person. It just doesn't realize that it's dead yet. And the NATO nations are in the same predicament. So if the Almighty doesn't come back, then all praise to Him because my queen and I get to sit back and watch this destruction and we know that we are protected because of this Psalms 91 1 to 8 and I read he that dwells in the help of the highest shall sojourn under the shelter of the power of heaven he shall say to the Almighty thou art my helper and my refuge my power I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters, 
from every troublesome matter. He shall overshadow thee, uh, overshadow thee with his shoulders, and thou shalt trust under his wings. His truth shall cover thee with a shield. Thou shalt not be afraid of terror by night, nor of the arrow flying by day, nor of the evil thing that walks in darkness, nor of, the cala nor of calamity and the evil spirit at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, excess deaths, and ten thousand at thy right hand, excess deaths, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou observe and see the reward of sinners. So be it. So, again, if the Almighty comes back to rescue us, all praise to Him. If He doesn't come back this Passover, all praise to Him. Because I will have been fortunate enough to see this, the destruction of the European nations. I'm cool with that. All praise to only the Almighty, Most High Creator. Have a beautiful day, family, and may the Almighty continue to protect and provide for you.